Hi. The uh, latest version of our calendar, Build 5.6, includes a new view, uh, a Gantt chart view. And I wanted to just take a minute and show you what that's all about. So if we click on the Gantt chart, you can see that we have projects down the left-hand side. And again, this is integrated with your solution. You've, you've pasted this calendar into your file. So these are projects that are coming from your file. If you don't have projects, then you won't use the Gantt tab. You'll probably delete it and just integrate the rest of the calendar. But for folks who have projects, this is pretty cool stuff. And you can see that from the 4th to the 31st, we have a bunch of events happening. Um, our October 11th to the current day is highlighted in red. That's a little crowded on this view. So when I get rid of the sidebar, I can see a lot more going on over here. Or if I kind of come up and, as with all screens, this rewards a big monitor. And you can see that makes everything a little little easier to take a look at. So let's let's take a look at it like this. Um, I'm going to switch to next day, see if I can find some more events. Yeah, we've got a lot of events going on here. Um, and our filters are respected here. So if I go over to and select a, select a project from our filters, let's just do Dirk. And then I can kind of zoom out until I see all of this project. There we go. Okay, so here's everything that's going on for Dirk Heights. And let's, let's talk about some of the behaviors that are happening here. Of course, we can click on an event and bring it up. We can jump right over to that project. Again, this is probably a layout you already have in your file. This is in your, you've pasted this in. So this is just a placeholder, but you may want to borrow our view on Gantt chart buttons. That's a, another way to just kind of s switch over to the Gantt chart and take a look at just that project. It's going to pre-filter the calendar for you when you hit that button. Um, but let's take a look at some of the behaviors. First thing is that we can kind of chain and unchain events here. And so when I chain an event, you can see from the tooltip, they're linked in a dependency chain, which means that if it takes a little longer for us to get approval, or if the approval happens a few days later, watch what happens over here, then our, our sign off is going to move as well. Um, and the same thing happens if I change the duration of event. Right? If I grab the, uh, oh, excuse me, I moved the wrong event there, but if I grab this launch and say, well, you know, that didn't quite take as long, I'm holding down the shift key now to change the duration, and that's going to bring those things back. So that that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that's happening here, if I clear this filter, you can see that uh, some of these events Woolworth here, let's collapse these two. It's got faces beneath it, and this isn't really supported in the UI, but if you're a developer and you know that your client has phases, um, you can expand and collapse these phases as well. Uh, the other nice thing that's happening here is, as you can see, if events don't have a project, so if I click on this event, it just doesn't have a project associated with it. Those are showing up kind of below here. We can collapse this and kind of get all those no uh, project records out of the way. So again, the Gantt chart is great if you have long-term projects that you want to visualize. It pastes into your file along with the calendar. It respects all the calendar filters, right? If I say, show me just the things that are begun or show me just the things that are waiting. Um, can be a really interesting way to look across projects or, as we saw, to look at just a single project and filter for, for, uh, for just one. So uh, thanks for taking a look, and I hope you find it useful.